What's up, Camel Guys family? So we actually have a super dirty wheel that Joey asked for me to bring from my house. So we're gonna go to my truck and get it out for him because he is actually going to be doing a super dirty video, super dirty wheel cleaning video. But we're gonna make our way down. We do have Nick behind the camera guy following us. So we have to go from the third floor to the first floor to the parking lot, through the store, then the parking lot to get this wheel out. This is a 1978. F-150. Tell the story about it. What, the story? This truck? All right, so about a year ago, exactly on Christmas, I was in San Diego, and my dad left and came back with this truck. The guy told him, that sold it to him, he's like, all he needs is fuel. Long story short, we, yeah, it was not. I kept coming back to Nick, hey, Nick, what what I need? He's like, no, check this, check the carburetor, check the fuel pump, check check everything. So. Long story short, we had to rebuild the whole entire engine. It is a 6.6 .6 engine, uh, V8, and it's horrible on gas, but right now my truck is in the shop. My truck has been in the shop for a while. It, unfortunately, I did get some nails in my tires, and now we're here. So these wheels, holy oh, snap, this thing's heavy. These wheels have been sitting on the side of my house, and you guys can see how filthy these wheels are. So Joey wanted a super dirty wheel. I brought him a super dirty wheel. This wheel is a 24 inch wheel. This one lives on my GMC Sierra. You guys can see it's not in perfect condition. It has spider webs right there, brake dust everywhere. If I flip it around, the barrel's not the best, spider webs. And here's the crack. LA and potholes is not where it's at. So, but anyways, I fixed it, it no longer leaks. Uh, I do get my truck back this week, so I need to get my wheels clean. This is just one out of four. Hear that, Nick? Nothing but air. <laughs> Joey, I got you something. I got you the dirty, cracked wheel that now works. It's cracked? Oh, well, this is the one that cracked on me, remember? Oh, you got it welded? I got it welded. It holds air now, but it has spider webs, brake dust. We'll clean it, we'll deep clean it. I think since you have it off the truck, we may as well just clay it, polish it, ceramic coat it. That way it lasts looking clean a lot longer than this right here. Look, 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 look. Ugh. You, can feel, you can feel how, like. You're giving me goosebumps. <laughs> All right, so Joey, I'll leave this wheel inside. You know what, just follow me, Matt, let's go. I'm rolling it inside. I also have three more wheels if you want to clean them all. You have them all with you or just that one? I only have this one because you only asked for one. That's my favorite song right there. But yeah, so all this all of this is just like fingerprints of hey, stop touching it, man. Some little Spider-Man's in here. <laughs> Look, spider webs, my hands are filthy. So now imagine this. I took this off my truck. My truck has been in the shop for about a month. I didn't clean my wheels before, I stored them, and I really didn't store them, I just put them on the side of my house. So it also rained, it's gloomy out here, so we get mist, I also have sprinklers. Now I'm in this situation, so perfect time for Joey to clean my wheel. Do it. And look, look. Hey, you're basically helping me out right there already. Well, I already helped you out. I did I did the hardest part. Was there a 48 hour work hands right there? Yeah, no, 52 hour. 52 hour day work hands. Yeah, 52 hour work hands. Let me see your hands. I got princess hands right now. So. Oh, got some work to do. And you guys want to see a little sneak peek behind here? Something's going on with photography. We have Jason shooting some other photos. But yeah, so. You like the arsenal I built, Henry? I like how you went in red, white, blue. For Memorial Day. America. 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 All right, send this out. All right, so anyways, guys, I got the wheel for Joey. Joey's going to take care of my wheel. You guys will see the results after. And after that, I'll come down to inspect how my wheel actually came out. And then, if anything, I'll just bring more wheels. And then if they look that good, you're going to bring me the other three, right? I got you on the other three. We'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so as you guys saw, Henry just dropped off the wheels to us, and that thing is pretty beat up. It has a ton of brake dust and grime embedded on there, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to grab everything that we need. So one thing I do want to mention is here at Chemical Guys, you may think we're organized, but 
it's a little bit more complicated than that, and I'll show you what I mean. So as you guys can see right here, we have a ride-along trunk organizers, which we just have filled with a bunch of different chemicals, and we're gonna be grabbing the stuff that we need to deep clean those wheels for him. So the first one that I wanted to start off with um, would be Diablo wheel gel. Now, Diablo wheel gel, for those of you guys who don't know, it's more of a maintenance wheel cleaner, and that's one of the great things about it. That's this one right here. So you got your Diablo wheel gel. That's what we're gonna be using. That's safe to use on all wheel finishes. Now I do also have it diluted in a three to one ratio and a ducky sprayer nozzle, which actually sprays in a foamy manner. And then obviously we're gonna to wanna to clean those tires as well. So we have our total extract, which is a tire and rubber cleaner. I'll set these out very nicely for you guys so you guys can see. And then as far as cleaning wise, I think we're just gonna leave it at that for now. We actually have a bucket already filled with all of our brushes on the outside. So we're gonna go walk outside, get all of our stuff like our brushes, and then we'll get set up with cleaning the wheel. All right guys, so we're gonna make our way to the wheel. As you guys see, we have it all nice and set up right here. We have all of our products laid out, and I also have some stuff like our pressure washer, which is already hooked up to our ProFlow. Pressure washer, I meant pressure washer hose connected to the ProFlow. And we also have our bucket with all of our brushes and stuff that we're gonna be needing for today's detail. And then if you guys come up close, just another kind of uh, inspection of the wheel. The wheels are filthy, they have all kinds of dirt, brake dust, embedded tar, iron contaminants, and there's probably bound to be a lot more things that we're gonna need to get rid of after we initially do the first clean because we're gonna have things that are embedded on the surface that we're gonna need to deep clean, remove, decontaminate, and ceramic coat. That way the wheels look as good as they will be and maintain them and you know just so that they look their best for as long as possible. So we'll start off this detail by rinsing it off with our pressure washer and this is just to knock off any kind of loose dirt and debris. All right guys, now that we've done a little pre-rinse, I'm gonna pull my bucket closer here and we're gonna start off with our Diablo gel wheel cleaner. Now this right here, if you normally see it with the spout cap on it, that means it's our gel version, which is dilutable. If it has the trigger, uh, the spray trigger on it, then it's ready to use. So in this case, we actually have it diluted in a three to one ratio. And for added cleaning power and lubrication, go ahead and just squirt about an ounce of that in there. Get your pressure washer hose and then activate the suds. Check it out, just from that one squirt, we get nice, thick, rich suds as added lubrication and cleaning power. Then we can go ahead and start spraying our Diablo wheel cleaner gel directly onto the finish of the wheel. And as you guys can see, this shoots it more of in a foamy manner, which is great because it's gonna allow you to just have more lubrication that we have less of a chance to scratch your wheels. Now we're gonna grab our wheelie flag tip brush if I can find it. And then you can grab some suds from the bucket. And if you like, you can also spray a little bit more cleaner onto the bristles of your brush. This is our wheelie flag tip brush. And this is great for cleaning the face of the wheel. Now I will clean the barrel of the wheel as well, but I may just do that when we flip the wheel around just so that we can focus on one thing at a time. Now another thing I do want to mention is that we are using the ionized water, which means that, you know, even though we're working in this direct sunlight, we're not going to have to worry about water spots because the water is filtered and it has no minerals in it whatsoever. And then whenever your brush gets dirty, go ahead and come back to your bucket, grab some more suds and then continue with cleaning the wheel. guys now that we've finished cleaning the face of the wheel another thing that i want to grab is my boar's hair detailing brush and as you guys can see this one's more smaller it's more compact and the bristles are slightly longer and this is going to work out great for getting into all those harder reach areas like the lug nuts as you guys can see the lug nuts they do go pretty deep in there so we want to make sure that we're using a brush to allow us to really get in there and achieve that ultimate deep clean And then another area that you want to pay attention to when it comes to cleaning your wheels is the valve stem. So we'll go ahead and just go ahead and clean around that just to make sure that we clean that up very nicely. 
Now the reason I'm only, you know, the biggest reason I'm doing this deep clean in the first place is because the wheels are off. So this would be like the best time to do something like this. Obviously when the wheels are on the vehicle, it's a little bit more difficult to kind of do the things that you really want to do on it without, you know, having the vehicle in the way, obviously. So right now I'm just covering the cracks, sorry, the crevices in between the spokes and the corners just to ensure that we get everything nice and deep off there. And now we're going to go ahead and rinse it off. All right guys, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the tires. Now given <laughs> these things have barely any tire at all, we still wanna make sure that they're clean because I know our friend Henry here loves to apply tire shine on his tires. And you know, if you try to clean your wheels by just soaping them up, rinsing them off, you know, and not really getting that deep clean, if you apply a coat of dressing, it's not gonna, ba it's not gonna bond very well and it's not gonna last you very long and it's not gonna shine its best. So right here, we're gonna be using our Total Extract, which is a dedicated tire and rubber cleaner paired with our big blue stiffy uh, stiff bristle brush. We're gonna spray directly onto the bristles as well. And you can also spray directly onto the tire. Just go all the way around. And this is gonna help break down any kind of dirt, grime, previous dressings that are sitting on your tires. So if you love applying tire shine and you've never actually cleaned your tires like this before, you may be running into the issue where your tire shine doesn't last you very long or maybe you apply it and then in a couple of hours it looks all dried up and dull again. That's simply because anything that you apply onto the tire and it's not prepared properly, it's not bonding and it's just gonna sling right off the vehicle once you drive off. And now that we're done with that, we're simply gonna rinse it off one more time and then we're gonna flip it around. All right guys, now that we flipped it around, we're gonna do the exact same thing. I mean, we already basically rinsed it off by rinsing off the front. So now we're gonna spray some of our Diablo wheel cleaner gel directly into the barrel. And really just make sure that we coat the entire thing very nicely. Then we're just gonna scrub it with the same combination of brushes like we already had. So we're gonna grab our wheelie flag tip brush. Now I know you guys may be looking at this brush right here and you said, we have a red rocket. We can use that as well. This is obviously a lot easier to use whenever your wheels are on your vehicle. But in this case, I didn't really necessarily have to use it because I have full access to clean it with my wheelie flag tip brush. And same thing, you wanna start from the top and then work your way down. So we're just gonna start scrubbing the top of the wheel. That way we don't cross contaminate any kind of grime that you know kind of slings to the bottom of the wheel while we're cleaning it and then pick it back up and bring it to the top. And it's just kind of like an endless cycle of you just bringing the same dirt and grime all over the place. And then obviously you have behind the spokes that you can now have full access to clean up very quickly and very easily. As you guys can see, we're doing an incredible job at just breaking down all this grime that's embedded on here. And then feel free to come back to your wheel cleaning bucket. Just kind of knock off the brake dust that's sitting on the bristles of your brush. And then if you feel like your suds start dying down on you, you can actually activate it once again with your hose. So that just goes to show you just how far Diablo wheel gel goes when it comes to your cleaning potential with it. And we're just gonna go ahead and finish this up. Now that we clean that part, now we're gonna grab our board hair detailing brush and we're just gonna simply go in a little bit more deeper in terms of the back of the spokes, just simply because like I said, you know, we have full access to it. Why not deep clean it right now? You know, these are areas that 
especially if you have available to clean very easily, why not take advantage of the time that you have by just thoroughly cleaning it? Because what can end up happening if you let a lot of this stuff settle is all this brake dust that's uh, clinged onto the surface, eventually what ends up happening is it starts etching into the finish and you start getting pitting. And that can actually break down the integrity of the wheel. So the last thing that you wanna worry about is having a beautiful set of wheels and them falling apart on you, especially when you know, nowadays wheel sets, uh, depending on what you're looking for, they can run you in the thousands of dollars. So the last thing that you wanna worry about when you spend thousands of dollars on beautiful wheels is not taking care of them properly and them you know, just getting ruined very quickly, very easily. So you wanna make sure that they stay looking great for as long as possible. So that's why we're going this in-depth cleaning to make sure that the wheels stay looking great for years to come. And then since we're here, I may as well just pop off the cover right here. We'll just set that to the side. That way we have more access to clean the rest of the wheel. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do is actually rinse it off and then we're gonna dry it up we're gonna pull it inside and then I'm gonna show you guys how to remove some of the staining that's actually built up on the wheel. And then we're gonna show you guys how to ceramic coat them as well. So now that we have the wheel pulled inside, it's fully dry, now it's time to inspect it. So like I told Henry earlier, there's a lot of embedded contaminants that are sitting on the face of the wheel as well as of the sides of the spokes as well. So if you guys come take an up close look, especially like in this little area right here, you can definitely tell there's a lot of little black dots. It almost kind of feels like there's like acne on the surface. So a lot of these little black dots, I'm not sure how well the camera focuses on it, but they're definitely there and you can definitely hear them. So check this out. I'll do another one closer to me, that way you guys can hear as well. Those wheels are extremely rough, and as you guys may already know, next step, clay bars. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. I do have some stuff over here that's already kind of set up. It's kind of all over the place, but we'll need some clay luber, which is a synthetic lubricant, and oh, would you look at that, OG clay bar. So let's grab these, let's make our way to the car. You got Brian over there in the background trying to act very casual, like he didn't just ruin the shot, but we love Brian. So now we're gonna grab some clay bar, and as you guys can see, the previous person that took some of this clay bar actually left the plastic on there for me, which is great because we're not gonna need that much. And the plastic actually helps it from sticking to the sides of the packaging as well. So just go ahead and snap those back on, slip that in there. You're good to go. So we have ourselves a nice little piece of clay bar. This is more than enough for this wheel. And just so we can kind of just keep it going on the road, we're just gonna knead it into a small little patty. And then just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you guys in that exact same area that I showed you guys right here. So you guys see all the black dots right there. This will just be kind of an up close shot, but we'll spray some of the clay luber on there and we'll get our clay bar. We'll get some on the clay bar as well. And then we're simply just gonna glide this left and right. And check that out, you guys. It's already removing those embedded contaminants. So a lot of those little black dots are just going uh, knocking themselves right out. You can also tell sometimes that the liquid becomes very brown and gunky. So just continue doing this process until the surface feels nice and smooth. And then if you do run into some more embedded things that the clay bar may not be able to remove, then that's when you know that you know it's already kind of etched the surface. But just for a demonstration, check that out. That clay bar was bright and yellow. Now it's all brown black and gunky. So whenever you're clay barring, always make sure to re-knead your clay bar as necessary. I'm gonna see if I can keep playing this little section right here to see if we can remove all that stuff that's embedded on there. But like I mentioned to Henry, some of this stuff may already be too deep. It may be etched into the surface of the wheel. And if it is, then that's a permanent damage right there and that obviously we can't remove unless we just replace the wheel or refinish it. But it seems like this one right here let me actually just kind of come in for a closer look because I can't tell from this side, but 
It almost kind of looks like a rock chip, I want to say. There are some little rock chips here and there that, you know, unfortunately we're not going to be able to remove, but it's nothing a little touch-up can't fix. So we're going to continue with clay barring the rest of the wheel, removing all these stains and embedded contaminants, and then we'll be right back with you guys for the polishing step. So we just finished clay barring the face of the wheel and the barrel and I'm not going to lie to you guys, it was a lot of work. There was a lot of embedded contaminants. You might see my forehead very sweaty right now. I know, I just have a, I have a natural thing for sweat on my forehead. But now that we're done claying it, now it's time to polish. So we're going to go ahead and make our way back to our beautiful assortment of randomized products. And now we're going to grab some light metal polish. I know you guys may be looking at me right now like, man, he really sure does know where all that stuff is at, but that's just because I cleaned it earlier, so I know all this stuff where it's at. Light metal polish, and then we also have one of our, whoa, where'd it go? One of our microfiber applicator pads. Now, we're gonna be using this combination just to kind of touch up the metal finish and just really bring out that overall shine because after you clay bar, you normally wanna follow it up with the polish. Now, in this case, since it is more of a metal uh, powder coated finish, then we're just gonna use the light metal polish to quickly remove any kind of light oxidation, restore the shine, and obviously we're gonna uh, bring back that ultimate uh, metal finish shine. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna apply a couple drops. I normally like to start off with six and add more as needed. And then we're simply just gonna start polishing the surface. Now the beauty about light metal polish is that you can use this by hand or by machine. In this case, since the inside of the barrel actually cleaned up pretty nicely, I don't think it's necessary for us to go with like a heavy duty polish or anything like that. So we're just gonna touch it up with some light metal polish and that's the great thing is that it's light, it's non abrasive, so you're not breaking down any kind of coatings that are on your metal finishes. So this is gonna work out great for any kind of chrome, powder coated, uh, anodized, aluminum finishes. It's gonna work out great, stainless steel, uh, gold, silver, you name it, use it on jewelry, use it at home, use it on your wheels, you name it. So as you guys can see, I'm not really stressing out too much when it comes to applying this product because this is just kind of like a light work in. You don't have to go crazy. Unless you want to go crazy, then I would say go with something like heavy metal polish paired with a <clears throat> ball buster drill attachment. And that's going to work out a lot better for tackling more heavily oxidized metals but like in this case, like I said, it's not that bad. We're just gonna give it a touch up, then we're gonna flip it over right now in just a sec. All right, guys, so we just finished polishing the wheels with our light metal polish, which, oh, damn, I was trying to see if it'll, if it'll, no, keep going. <laughs> I was trying to see if it'll fit in the middle, but didn't really work out that well. But we finished polishing the wheels with our light metal polish. I mean, just check this thing out, you guys. This thing looks crisp. It looks brand new. The metal looks nice, fresh, fully polished, you know, full clarity, full shine, full sparkly, full everything. I mean, this thing looks incredible from where we started to not even just from where we started obviously like cleaning it would make a big difference but even just claying it and polishing it this makes an even bigger difference even after cleaning the wheels and seeing that first initial big difference so 
This looks incredible and now it's time to maintain it looking this way. Now, of course, after doing all this work, the last thing that you wanna do is just put these back on your truck and drive away because your wheels are exposed right now. So what I mean by that is, uh, well, let me take that back. Let me, let me backtrack a little bit. So light metal polish does have a built-in sealant, but in, in order to really have a durable, long lasting layer of shine and protection, we really want to apply something durable. Now it does have a built-in sealant, which is going to help in the sense that it's going to protect your metal surfaces for quite some time, but we're looking for long-term shine and protection. So what I mean by that is ceramic. So we're going to make our way back to our little organizer over here and I want to apply a ceramic to the wheels really because I want to hook up Henry and I want to make sure that he has the best protection. So we'll be using our hydro spin, which is a wheel and rim ceramic coating and quick detailer in one product. So the beauty about this product is that you can use it as a ceramic coating and as a quick detailer in one. Now, whenever it comes to coating it, we always recommend using a microfiber applicator, but so as long as you're using a microfiber material, it's entirely fine. Obviously, the applicators are in a nice little convenient sponge that you can easily grab. But in this case, I'll use a microfiber towel and I'll just uh, fold it like so, just kind of mimic an applicator. And then we're gonna grab our bottle of Hydro Spin and we're gonna spray the area about three times. And then we're just gonna apply this like a traditional coating. So we're gonna go left, right, up and down, cross hatch motion. I like to start off with the face of the wheel and the lip just to make sure that we cover that first at least because when it comes to applying coatings, you wanna make sure you always apply an even application. So what I mean by that is you always wanna go back, cross hatch, left, right, up, down to ensure that the product levels evenly on the layer. That way you don't have any high spots. So now that we've done the face, now I'm gonna go into the spokes and luckily, you know, Henry has some pretty open wheels. So it's really easy for me to just apply this coating. Obviously, if you have a wheel that has a lot more spokes or more intricate areas, it may, you may want to take your time when it comes to applying it in terms of, you know, doing section at a time. But in this case, since I have full access of applying this coating to all these spokes, I shouldn't necessarily have to worry too much in terms of it kind of flashing on me too quickly or anything like that. So just like that, we're all about done. Now we're going to open up our microfiber towel to the dry side. And we're simply gonna start off when we first start applying the coating. And we're simply gonna buff off the residue of the hydro spin. And check that out, you guys. It provides an even more intense ceramic shine level and obviously a durable layer of protection. Now, when it comes to wheels, you wanna make sure that your wheels are protected because obviously you want them to look good. But the biggest thing when it comes to your wheels is brake dust. Now, brake dust can be extremely corrosive to the surface of your wheels you'll actually see that there's actually some pitting on the inner barrel of the wheel, which unfortunately we can't really do much about because that's already etched the surface, the actual finish of the wheel. So there's really not much that we can do there besides, you know, refinish it or just replace the wheel. But you know, that's just going to show you guys out there that if you guys do not clean your wheels very often and you let that brake dust collect on your wheels, that's exactly the things that you can expect in the future. So we're basically done ceramic coating a wheel that fast, that easy, that effective. Now the biggest things about ceramic coatings that I would say takes the longest is all in the prep. So obviously you guys saw, we took the time to take off the wheels, we cleaned the wheels, we decontaminated the wheels, we polished the wheels, and that obviously took all a lot longer than just applying hydro spin as our final step because it's on the prep. You wanna make sure that everything is prepared thoroughly before you apply your ceramic coating because this is basically the finish line. And then obviously you can actually maintain this exact same coating that we just applied with the same product. So if it ever comes to maintenance, simply spray it, wipe it with the microfiber towel, you're all good to go. Obviously you wanna make sure that you're doing it in not direct sunlight, when your wheels are cool to the touch, and when they're only lightly dusty, if your wheels do require a deep cleaning, clean them first and then top it off with some hydro spin. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like any of the products that we mentioned on today's video, they're actually available on our website, chemicalguys.com. Check the description, check the tagged comment, pinned comment in the comment section. You'll see all the links right there as well. And I think before we leave, we actually wanna show Henry his wheel, right? So let's go grab Henry and let's get his reaction. And if I don't see you guys after that, my name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage and we'll see you guys next time. Hen dog, come downstairs. We want to.
we want you to see your wheel now that it's all nice and clean and everything. Come check it out. Check it out, hen dog. What you think? Mmm. This is fire. Mmm. And they're smooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you're, done right, how you're done right there, smooth. I freaking spent like 30 minutes cleaning them. The barrel as well. We got clayed. This is more of a rough texture, but yeah, this is it was clayed. It was a lot dull than this, but now they're a lot brighter. We clayed it with OG clay bar. We polished it with light metal polish, and then we hooked you up with hydro ceramic. That's right. That's yeah. awesome. So I have a question for you, Joey. Yes. Why did you use light metal instead of like heavy metal? Because your wheels are not that bad. So I actually explained this on camera about uh, using something like light metal polish versus heavy metal polish. Heavy metal polish contains abrasives, and your wheels don't need abrasives. They just need like a light little touch up in terms of just bringing out the shine and clarity. I like how we're both just like. Touching my wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so light metal polish, non-abrasive, great to just bring out the shine. Obviously, if the wheels were oxidized, then we would have gone with heavy metal polish. But you're, you're good. You know, you may not take care of your wheels that great, but at least you do take hey, care of them to an extent. I'm, I'm the type of person, I drive it. If I build it, I drive it. I'm, right. not, I'm not going to have cars laying around anywhere. If the wheel's on there, I'm going to drive it. If I do get scratches, oh, well. <laughs> That's that's what cars are for. You oh, yeah. build them to drive. So like my wheels are not perfect. It does have scratches and swirls, but overall the results I I love it. One thing I did just need to do is just remove that. Yeah, I was gonna ask you this. Did you want us to remove this or no, no, are you gonna put the mounts back on there? So the mounts I moved them back here. Mind blown. Joey's mad. You really thought this wheel's not balanced? Honestly, they're not even paying attention to that. <laughs> I just assumed they were not on the wheel. Joey's like, this wheel's not balanced. Joe, it's like right it's across a, the street. It's a weeble wobble. But we're missing one piece. What? Don't worry, don't worry. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. I actually forgot to polish it. So. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got me Let, Let's polish you it real quick. I completely forgot. So light metal polish. You know, it has water spots on it. it does one thing about me, so I, I don't have a garage. I leave my truck outside. Uh, sprinklers get to it all the time. So, well, this will clean it up very quickly. As you can see, had some water spots, had a little bit of staining, but just real quickly. Imagine we put these wheels on the air, Adam. Mm. All right, guys, you guys are about to see the level of shine. The new level of shine that you've unlocked is unlocking the level of shine where you can see the cameraman right there. Oh, oh. Mattel. You can see the camera guy. So I'm going to let you do the honors. <laughs> <laughs> it's so shiny and it's so, so slippery. Slick. <laughs> it's here here, let me grab it from there. It's a mirror. What do you see in there? Is it brighter than your future? Brighter than yours. Oh! Ooh. All right. You know, I've never actually entered one of these. That's satisfying. Wow. Cool. All right. So what do you think, Henry? Are you going to bring us the other three, or are you going to pass and just take it as is and you do it yourself? Because I can just give you all this stuff, and you can take it home and I can you know, that's, you. that's a nice gesture, but I'll give you a better gesture. I'll just bring all three. Look, matter of fact, I could bring all three. And, and then, then, and then put them on your truck. Oh yeah, put them on the truck. We'll probably have to do that as like an update video in the future. So it's built to drive, it's built to drive, but wow. Cool, and there you have it. Final statement, wow.